let's jump into the aircraft and let's resume our flight today we'll be using the Cessna caravan to fly over I've done a couple of uh, other different aircrafts I feel that today um, I just feel like flying the caravan today how about that all right so let's make sure that we are at the right airport which is EG HJ there you go right so we'll be passing over a few POIs we got the Brighton Palace Pier and I think there's a couple of more here which I saw long man of Wilmington Wilmington William Wilmington sorry Wilmington and end up at the uh, airport Portsmouth we we went through the Spinnaker Tower in my last uh, in my last stream okay interesting I'm gonna uh, click on fly let's orient the aircraft and according to the sim the wind is coming from 270 which probably might not be right because if I look at windy right now at this point in time it's coming from 090 almost so that's where we are at the moment Bambridge but it's coming from 0, 080 roughly so this will probably give us a chance to take off from runway in this case we're going to be runway zero, zero runway one two probably this best app uh, runway to take off from one two or could be the other one okay let's aim for runway one two wind is one eight five what 18.52 not 70 degrees yep probably right yeah 70 degrees is correct let's jump into the aircraft and let's get going Fuel pumps going. Switch on the battery. Stroke goes on. And uh, mixture to reach. Parking brakes are on. And let's start the engine up. Alternator can go on. Test. Okay. Avionics. Nav and strobe lights. Right, all looks good. Fuel boost on do, 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 start on all right, so let's uh set the um altimeter to we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna not gonna fly so high today, maybe about 2,000 feet or maybe less let's go up to 2,000 feet first 2,000 feet okay one second I need to make sure I have something enabled here 
Just making sure the lights on my Bravo is on. So I have to run this AFC Bridge application. It's running, but there's no lights. All right, let's get going. Uh, let's release the parking brake. Control columns, everything is fine. All right. Something's not right. Let's have a look. What's going on? Stand by. Don't need to have that. Why isn't the aircraft moving? Let's kind of windy today. I can hear the wind. thought I saw 17 knots just now. That's crazy. Runway three zero. Okay, seems like a short runway, so let's use takeoff flaps for this. Let's make sure that we have transponder set to altitude. Looks good. Full power. Whoa. Windy, windy, windy. Whoa, 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 what's going on? God. 
That was horrible. Right turn to zero nine zero. Flaps up. What's going on? Let's change the weather. Uh oh. Something in right. Okay, let's do this again. Um, make sure that we're weather it's not horrible this time. Let's do a few clouds. Yep. Okay, looks good. And uh, let's get going. Brakes are off. Taxi lights are on, left on, stroke on, everything else is on.
Right, so this time we're going to taxi to runway 1, 2. Left clear, right is clear. Okay, let's All right, I'm going to use all the runway possible. I'm going to put flaps, take off flaps, full power. Five hundred feet flaps can go up. So that's Bambridge we just left, uh, heading to its lid, which is on the east, southeast of uh, Great Britain. So it's 1500, that's level off here. Autopilot heading is on. And let's switch on the altitude as well. Alrighty. So, uh, things to look out for on the way will be the Brighton Pier, the Brighton Palace Pier, and the Long Man of Willington. So just make sure that we have. 
uh, Bush Talk Radio enabled. Login. Right, uh, time for some music. Why not? Alright, let's change the icon. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, we're passing by is withering Bogno Regis Little Hampton and arriving in Brighton. It's about five degrees in Brighton at the moment. Any other interesting landmarks coming up? Norman's Bay. There's three here. That's Battle of Lulz. this Brighton Palace Pier and then we have the British Airways I-360 
Hey Zoindex, how's it going man? It's going good here. On our way to Brighton. See some interesting landmarks. How's it going with you? All good. We are just about to conclude our UK tour. We've been flying all about uh, the England side of stuff, uh, England side of um, cities and towns. So we are uh, about to just finish. We got only a couple of more lakes. So here we are at the moment. And we've got to just get to the city airport in London. And then we are done. So we've gone all over north, the west, and come back around. So we might be able to see some cliffs of Dover today. Uh, we took off from Banbridge today. Just left Banbridge about a few minutes ago and heading to Lid. Are you from uh, the UK? I usually fly the Piper or all around the UK, but uh, thought of taking some taking um, a different aircraft today, I'm flying the uh, 208. Hopefully to get there a little faster. <laughs> oh, you live in the US? Okay, cool. May I know which part of the US? Wyoming nice hang on let me check where's where exactly Wyoming is Wyoming uh, let me see um, I love geography so I like to see where places are is it Midwest right Wyoming is Midwest not so much on the East or West? Michigan. No, it's, oh yeah, it's Michigan, right? So Michigan is somewhere near Chicago. Oh, there you go. Nice. Did they get a good uh, update for US? I mean, the world update too? Did you guys get a lot of uh, good landmarks over in Wyoming? Sorry, this is this is update four, right? No, update four is just in uh, Europe. UK is update three, so it's update two in the US. Millennium Park, Kentwood, Georgetown. Okay, so you're quite close to the. Is it Lake Michigan? This one is called. Right. Oh, Michigan City is down here, and you over here. Oh, cool. Portland, yeah, sounds familiar. Lansing. So how's it going with you guys, um, COVID-wise? You guys okay? Got it under control. Here it's up and down. You know, sometimes it goes down, then it comes back, comes back up again. Make sure I'm not over speeding here. Okay, cool.
wind is really pushing us today. The showroom, the airport, the Brighton Pier is coming up shortly. In real life, I fly the Cessna, the 172. In fact, um, I'm just trying, uh, I'm just about to get my license. Still doing some training for now. Because of the COVID, it was delayed. Uh, took it up in 2019, late 2019, and still uh, doing some training while sitting for my uh, exams at the same time. And exams are not easy. I thought of when you are applying your PPL, VFR stuff, it's going to be like, you know, maybe two or three exams. No. Let's say for about 11 exams, written exams. And uh, they're kind of tough as well. Hey, we're about the same. Mine is about 17 hours. Interesting. What a small world. What a coincidence, I mean. Yeah, just uh, mine is about 15, 17, 18 hours. I'm doing my circuit and landing. Or it, in America, they would say, what would they call it in America? Touch and go? Circuit and landing is coming up tomorrow in the, in the morning. My first circuit and landing. I've done a couple of cross cross country flights and the other stuff straight and level and you whatever uh, stalls and whatnot I think we're still being pushed to the left hey that's the Brighton Pier came out so fast Let's slow down a bit. Let's have a look at that. Why did they pop up in our... Oh, because this one was not on. Brighton Pier, come on. The Brighton Palace Pier, commonly known as Brighton Pier or the Palace Pier, is a Grade 2 listed pleasure pier in Brighton, England, located in the city centre opposite the Old Stein. Opening in 1899, it was the third pier to be constructed in Brighton after the Royal Suspension Chain Pier and the West Pier, but is now the only one still in operation. It is managed and operated by the Eclectic Bar Group. The Palace Pier was intended as a replacement for the Chain Pier, which collapsed in 1896. Uh, I'm on the 172N, November. It quickly became popular and had become a frequently visited theatre and entertainment venue by 1911. Aside from closures owing to war, it continued to hold regular... The aircrafts here are kind of old the and they're not, they're not the uh, brand new stuff. They've been around since the 70s. In 1986, Come on, turn around. 
The pier remains popular with the public, with over 4 million visitors in 2016, and has been featured in many works of British culture, including the gangster thriller Brighton Rock, the comedy Carry On At Your Convenience and The Who's concept album and film Quadrophenia. Alright, so that's Brighton Pier. And that's the British something something. Uh, BA something, uh, Tower or something. Don't know exactly the name for it. Okay, that's how it looks like. What's the difference between an N and XP? Of uh, course, I've never heard about an XP before. I know about an N and I know about a P, but not an XP. Oh, this is an amusement park. Nice. The Brighton Palace Pier, commonly known as Brighton Pier or the Palace Pier, is a Grade 2 listed pleasure pier in Brighton, England, located in the city centre opposite the Old Stein. Opening in 1899, it was the third pier to be constructed in Brighton after the Royal Suspension Chain Pier and the West Pier, but is now the only one still in operation. It is managed and operated nice. by the Eclectic Bar Group. The Palace Pier was intended as a replacement for the Chain Pier, which collapsed in 1896 during construction. It quickly became popular and had become a frequently visited theatre and entertainment venue by 1911. Aside from closures owing to war, it continued to hold regular entertainment up to the 1970s. The theatre was damaged in 1973 and following a buyout was demolished in 1986, changing the pier's character from seaside entertainment to an amusement park, with various fairground rides and roller coasters. The pier remains popular with the public, with over 4 million visitors in 2016, and has been featured in many works of British culture, including the gangster thriller Brighton Rock, the comedy Carry On At Your Convenience and The Who's concept album and film Quadrophenia. Quadrophenia is the one that Sting act, acted in, right? Sting as in the police. Alright, uh, stands for... Oh, extra power. I live near mountain. Alright, oh, okay, understood. Give me the better climb rate. I think it's 190... Wow, that's, that's a lot. 190, power, 190 horsepower is a lot. It also has the prop angle adjustment. Oh, pitch. Variable pitch, right? So you have that blue lever in the in the aircraft. Nice. But it's the the size and everything. Is it the same as the uh, sky Skyline, or is it more like a uh, what's the other one? The one is Skyline. What's the other one? Skyhawk. Yeah, I'm I'm doing the Skyhawk. So Skyline's a bit bigger. Hey Nuggets, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that, mate. I've got about. About I need I need only about four peop four five more people to hit the uh, requirement by Twitch to get fifty people. Thanks, Nugget. Exactly the same, slightly bigger engine cowling. All oh, right, so you got a bigger engine in front. Nice. Never heard about an XP before. Maybe you require it because obviously uh, when you're flying, trying to clear mountains and all that, right? Let's have a look. How does an XP look like? Cessna XP. Ah, okay. 195 horsepower. Yours is... What did you say just now? Fuel injected. Okay. You see, oh yeah, you also use it 190, so about the same. Uh, check the six cylinder continental Lycoming. 250 pounds, wow. 
That's a lot. Yeah, I can see the front of the aeroplane is slightly longer, if I'm not mistaken. And does he have the prop lever? Southern Farm is a 131 hectare nature reserve on the eastern outskirts of Lewis in East Sussex. It is managed by the Sussex Wildlife Trust. The thin and infertile soils on this chalk site result in a floristically very rich grassland. Plants which flower in the summer include horseshoe vetch, kidney vetch, mouse ear hawkweed, field scabious, dropwort and salad burnet. Our downland nature reserves at Southern Farm and Morling Down Engine sit calling. on the fringes of the East Sussex okay. County town of Lewis, with Morling Down dominating the easterly skyline of this quaint historic town. Both sit within the chalk massif of the Lewis Downs and are part of the South Downs National Park. They share their space with Glyndebourne and Glynd Estates and the Lewis Golf Course. The ancient hill fort of Mount Caven is found on the southeasterly corner of the Lewis Downs, overlooking the main stretch of the South Downs, separated by the River Ooze and surrounding. Zoom index. Ooze Thanks for the follow, man. Really appreciate that. So I got, I got three more to go. <laughs> and counting. Hanging in midair above its earthworks. Three more to go and counting. Been doing this what for the last what two months now. But um, not so much at the moment interested in trying to get followers and all that. There I, I am, but not really pushing for it, you know. Just casual flying around, having fun, meeting people, talking to nice people. Uh, just a curious curiosity is uh, zoo index what kind of exams do you have to sit for written exams I mean I mean how many so many subjects because we have ridiculously too much exams here for some reason Sun is in our way and can't see what's coming up front. Maybe I should cheat a bit. 7.20 a.m. Let's cheat a bit. Let's bring it up to 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, much better. Oh, you haven't taken your exams yet. I'm doing it together because, uh, as I mentioned, my there are a lot of exams that I have to do. So I don't want to be ending up finishing up my flights and not doing the exams. And, you know, i got to go back and do the exam before I get my license. Uh, estimate time and route is 12 minutes. We've got 12 minutes to go.
So if the wind is coming from zero eight zero, we should land runway zero three. Yep. Okay. Normans Bay, Battle of Hastings. Hastings. Looks like the categories are ground operation, basic maneuvers, airport operations, emergency operation, ground reference maneuvers, special flight maneuvers, and flight maneuvers. Wow, totally different subjects that I'm what I'm doing here. If I can remember, I've got human something to do with medical stuff, uh, human. I don't know something about you know if you get sick on the aircraft, what do you do? Blah blah blah. And then we got flight um, flight planning and procedures. I've got uh, principle of flights. Uh, trying to recall principle of flight. We've got navigation, radio telecommunication, practical test. Um, there are five or six more. can't recall them but there's at least 11 but your topics are they're totally different airport operations emergency operations ground reference maneuvers special flight operations and flight maneuvers I guess maybe because of the different regulations that you have FAA compared to uh, we follow EASA so it's European uh, European syllabus I guess So, yeah, FFA is a different kind of regulations compared to uh, here in Southeast Asia. And also that U.S. is still using imperial measurements, um, feet, inches, and also... I think your elevation is counted in uh, mercury, 2992, right? So here we use hectopascal, which is millibars. We use meters. Uh, we do use feet for uh, airport elevation. Uh, I mean, we say them in 1,500 feet. But uh, visual range, we use meters here or kilometers. Oh, no. Oh, no. My system has hanged. Ah, just about when I was about to reach. Okay, it's okay. I can restart. Not a problem. Only take us a few minutes. Won't take long. It does happen once in a while. Yeah, the, the when you do your flight tests, um, you'll, yeah, they will go over in the air with you. So you're probably about halfway through, right? So you got another twenty more, twenty or plus more hours to go to get your check right. But in the U.S., uh, it's so much. I mean, it's uh, aviation is everywhere. Uh, you got a huge country and you got airports almost uh, every state, right? Maybe more than that. So, um, anybody, it's easier for someone to become uh, a pilot, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, if you have the money, yeah. But uh, I've seen videos on YouTube 
where teenagers, girls, and all that they can you know become pilots. Exactly, thousands of small regional airports. Well, so every regional region airport could have a flight school, you know. So, but here it's a bit uh, not so much because we only have probably one airport per state, and that airport is being used as a commercial airport. So it's very hard to fly in and out sometimes. So it's kind of limited. I think it's even worse for Singapore. Singapore is a small country and uh, it doesn't have many airports. Even though they have a few airports, but I think the airspace is quite restricted. should be spawning here then we should be okay so do you stream on uh, twitch zoo index class d airspace very little traffic okay yeah, it's good to find an app um, a school which we have very less traffic right so when you're studying you don't get uh, panic because there's some airspace like maybe if you talk about Los Angeles and California there'll be well we have a lot of restriction stuff okay but do you do you have flight simulator 2020 right on your machine or something it's just that you don't twitch or you don't you don't stream start this again I need to finish that flight uh, the, uh, we were at now we're gonna be somewhere here so let's zoom in we're supposed to get to there where's the airport going to be the tree that's the airport lit lit it's lit metal of hastings um lydd okay that's lit and we have to be somewhere here right about there okay so that's departure condition I'm not going to use the real weather for this one the scene was the wind was 70 knots so it's blowing me away um, select arrival airport should be lit Okay. Yep. Okay, let's go for it. Resume. Okay, to practice. Yeah, I do that as well. Um, sometimes when I my instructor gives me some instruction on the air that I can't just get into my head I'll just go back home and I'll you know start flying especially the stalls stalls really uh, a lot of technical technical stuff to it right You don't mind me asking how old are you because I know some some um, teenagers are doing PPL now or taking the becoming pilots right 
Let's go. All right. Okay, this looks a bit more cloudy than I wanted. Let's change that. Clear skies. Yeah, let's go for clear skies. Uh, air speed is 148. That's too much. How high are we? We are... Wow! 7,000 feet. No, 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 no. Let's go down. Let's go down. Yeah, the airport is there. All right, nice age. So you're studying and also doing uh, flying at the same time? You're in, you're in college or something? But uh, strangely, did they allow you to fly because of COVID? But they didn't allow you to go to college, yeah? That's interesting. Oh, maybe because in college, you're among you know, hundreds and hundreds of people. And uh, flying school is just you and an instructor, I suppose. So how often do you fly in a in a day? I mean in a week. Okay, that's a lot. Yep, I I do two hour sessions per once per week. Uh, it's just because I've got business to run as well, so I can only afford to have a day off for flights. Okay, the airport is on our left. Level up at two thousand.
Okay. Got it. Yeah, I think because you live near where mountains are, and you get this downdraft right from the mountains. It's pretty hard if you living in, in mountain in mountainous area. But your airport is not like high up, right? Otherwise, you will have uh, performance issues with your aircraft. Hey, that's that's too high, man. Six thousand three is too high. No wonder you have a a souped-up aircraft. <laughs> Imagine taking off. You probably need a longer runway, but just for takeoff. Six thousand three hundred feet. That's very high. Seven thousand three hundred feet. Oh, okay, we need a minimum of four thousand to touch and go. Where is the run? Ah, now I see the runway. Okay, got it. We are a bit high. as well. I'm flying this uh, as if I'm flying a Cessna. <laughs> a Cessna you can come in very steep and all that. Hey, in the blue yonder, thank you much for the follow. Thank you very much for the follow. Hey, Fligiti1976. Brian, thank you for the raid. We're just coming into lit in the UK. Thanks for the raid. Appreciate that, mate. Okay, stand by. Nice and easy. All right. We 
have arrived at Lid, which is in the UK. Thanks for all the emoticons, guys. Thank you, Brian. Thanks for the raid. Appreciate that. How was your stream today? did a VR flying today. Excellent. I'm just getting getting back into the groove. Uh, start streaming again because I uh, stopped for a week doing my written exam for my flying, uh, my PPL. So I was studying for the last one week. So I was missing all of you guys. T W Anger, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. I think I might have come to my fifty followers already by now. Hopefully, maybe shot by a couple of people. Hopefully, I get my fifty today, and uh, Twitch will be happy with me. <laughs> Okay, where am I going? Um, this is the, um, the last leg for me for today because um, I had a, my PC hanged earlier just now for some reason. Crashed to desktop. So, probably gonna end it here. Is there a parking bay somewhere here? Let's go around front a bit. Alrighty. Parking brakes on. Gotta close my flight plan. And uh, I got a one, two, that's it. Two more legs to go and finish off my UK tour. And then we're off to the north of England or United Kingdom into the, the Scottish islands or the Scottish Scotland. Scotland, not Scotland. <laughs> All right. So, guys, thank you very much for the follow. Um, I probably return the favor by sending all of you to another channel. Let me see who has who is online at the moment. I don't know if anyone is flying on a flash at the moment, because all the one that I follow are all offline. Can can anybody suggest somebody? Oh, thank you. I'm at 51. Awesome. But today I got my 50 followers. Uh, can anyone uh, suggest anyone I can rate? Some of them are on uh, DCS and World of Tanks. Final Fantasy. Yeah, looks like there's no one I can rate. Uh, Brian is still online. Looks like Brian is still online. Are you still online, Brian? Try to return the favor. But it could be anyone, right? Doesn't matter. Let's go for...
and 2241p thank you for the follow i appreciate that do not rate he's he's not streaming yeah okay yeah I, because it looks like he's still streaming let's uh let's go and rate somebody with a low number i'm not sure whether you guys gonna i'll just rate anyway uh let's go for You guys like the world of tanks? Uh, K J K A E J A I E. Let's let. Not sure whether it's a girl or a boy. Let's go and read him or her. Okay, I think it's forward slash. And then read right. And K A E J A I E. I think so. Let's try that. Is that working? No? Is it four slides, right? R A I D. Okay. K A E G A I E. Hey guys, thank you very much for the follow and uh, for, for those who, who dropped in in the last minute. Uh, Brian, thank you very much. Appreciate you guys. So I hope to see you guys again in, in the next um, uh, stream. And Z, Z Windex, all the best with your flights. If you see me online, please come back again and we have a chat about getting our PPLs together. Because you and I are probably about the same, <laughs> same hours that we have accumulated. All right, guys, uh, have a good one and uh, take care. Bye-bye.